Thomas Root, 35 years old, is going to France for the first time. He is Polak, but he lives in Florida. He is well known for his monumental oil painting. He is a demand for work, in love with past. Today, his work of art are showed in the Bonnard space in the town Le Canet. Right away, the visitor is catched by the magnificence and the luminous of paint directly on the spur of Renaissance and Baroque. Thomas Root is an athlete of emotion emerged from the body where he is buried the warmth of the past. It's a funny thing you ask uh, because uh, I, uh, I actually, my first earliest memory as a child is, uh, is actually drawing on scraps of paper. And I remember that even earlier than I, I even remember speaking in, in my native language, Polish. But, uh, but then obviously I had to, so I knew that this was sort of my calling. For, for life, but, uh, but then obviously I had to sort of perfect it and I went to schools, I went to the uh, Fine Art, Academy of Fine Art in, uh, in Warsaw, Poland, where I graduated. And uh, so I have the formal training, but basically I, you know, as far as like, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, that helped me obviously with the techniques and methods of painting, but uh, at the same time I, I worked by myself, I kind of worked out my own techniques and, and, and uh, materials and, and so on. I would call it inspiration. I, I uh, certainly draw a lot of inspiration from uh, Renaissance as well as Baroque. I, I, actually, I would go as far back as uh, antiquity. Uh, let's say Hellenistic art, Roman art, Greek art. That would be the sort of the earliest period of time in art history that that really inspired me. And when I traveled, let's say, you know, here in Europe and in Italy uh, especially, I really got, you know, kind of inspired. And, uh, and that's where I got my original idea for the, these paintings from. But then again, you know, class, classical art sort of uh, uh, spans so many different eras and, and uh, uh, you know, periods, which, which also would include Renaissance and Baroque, like you said, 15th, 16th, 17th century art. So obviously all of this is very, very, uh, has a lot in common with what I, what I am painting. Sort of strong colors. I uh, uh, I like I like these backgrounds. And and again, you know, here the inspiration would be. I would say I love these murals, these Pompeian paintings that uh, where they originally painted these frescoes in these very uh, vibrant, uh, deep colors, uh, reds and blues and uh, yellows and all of that. And I really prefer that palette, except that here I have again, what I, what I do in my canvases is I start with the, the strong color, but then I start working into it with veils and layers of, of additional paint so that an effect of it is uh, the color really uh, uh, becomes much more muted. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I do like to work with strong colors.
I sort of choose to paint uh, to paint anatomy uh, that I do, you know, I perceive to be uh, a, a manifestation of beauty and a life form, uh, and a way that life manifests itself. Uh, that's you know, uh, that's what I choose to paint. Um, as far as uh, well, I, I would say, you know, all that you have said, I mean, obviously the spirit I perceive manifests itself uh, through, you know, through uh, various emotions that the, that the body can express. And, and that's what I try to picture in my, in my art, is different emotions that, that we as human beings experience. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Many people are coming today for the exhibition of the American artist Thomas Root in presence of many artistical cinema, culture and technical VIP. Actually, the Bonheur Space takes an international tendency. After Belgium, artistic Chardon, we welcome the American artist Thomas Root who lives in Florida. His big paints, which men's show classical sets, bury ourselves in the past and get the entire spectrum of human emotions. Melancholy, pain, agony, but also cheerfulness, contentment and happiness. Thomas Root is coming to Europe for search more and more for back antiquities, to find new emotions and new technologies, with a view to doing another beautiful paint. Just because basically, you know, I speak through my paintings. Uh, but definitely I'd like to say that I am thrilled to be here, that it, uh, it has been just the warmest reception, all the people that have helped me with putting the show together, I am just... Uh, just absolutely thrilled um, of how good a job they did and uh, it's just an incredible pleasure to exhibit in a beautiful space like this. <laughs> The painting show is terrific. As Mr. Marais said last few minutes, there are many Greek or Roman athletics men clinched in circus or like backgrounds with muscular bodies and red emotion. I think that is not a drama. More better paints express love and happiness. This show conveys strength and power, and the red color is fantastic. Sur le bonheur. Moi, je trouve pas que ce soit dramatique. Je trouve plutôt que ça tourne sur le bonheur et l'amour. De par, de par la position des corps et, euh, et des muscles, on retrouve plutôt l'amour la, que, que la, la force qui domine. 